So here let's learn how to convert a terminating decimal into a rational number of the form p by q. But before we go to any example, let us first try and understand what is a terminating decimal number. Terminating decimal number is a decimal number which has got a finite number of digits after the decimal point. So I'll just write it as a note here so that you can refer it whenever you've forgotten what is a terminating decimal number during this video. I will abbreviate terminating decimal number as T D N is a decimal number which has finite number of digits after the decimal point. An example for this would be 0.25. Now let us learn the whole thing with the help of an example. So let us first convert 0.15 which is a terminating decimal number. There is a finite number of digits after the decimal point. So let us learn how to convert 0.15 into a rational number of the form p by q. So in order to do that, we first have to convert 0.15 into a fraction, which can be done by removing the decimal point. So the number of digits after the decimal point here is 2. So therefore, let us multiply and divide 0.15 by 1 followed by two zeros, as there are two digits after the decimal point. So 0.15 into 100 is 15 by 100. Now let us find a number which can divide both 15 and 100. Find the largest number which can divide both 15 and 100. So the number that can divide both 15 and 100 is 5. The largest number that can divide both 15 and 100 is 5. So 15 by 5 is 3 and 100 by 5 is 20. So therefore, 3 by 20 is the rational form of 0.15. So let us go to another example. Let us convert 0.675, which is another terminating decimal number, into the rational number of the form p by q. So first we have to convert 0.675 into a fraction. The number of digits after the decimal point here are 3. So therefore let us multiply and divide 0.675 by 1 followed by 3 zeros, that is 1000. So 0 0.675 into 1000 is 675, which is divided by 1000. So now let us find a number, a largest number that can divide both 675 and 1000. And that number is 25. So 675. Now let us divide 675 and 1000 by that number, which is 25. 1000 divided by 25. So 675 by 25 is 27 and 1000 by 25 is 40. So therefore, 40, 27 by 40 is the rational form of 0.675. Let us work out another example. Now we have to convert 0.00026 into a rational number of the form p by q. So here, after the decimal point, we've got five digits. So therefore, let us multiply 0 0.0026 by one followed by five zeros and also divide it by one followed by five zeros, which is one lakh. So that is nothing but 26 by one lakh. A number, the largest number that can divide both 26 and one lakh is two. So therefore divide both of them by 2. So 26 by 2 is 13 and 1 lakh by 2 is 50,000. And therefore 13 by 50,000 is the rational form of 0 0.0026.